Hi, you guys. So, um, before my battery dies on my phone, I was out in the garden. I figured let me take this opportunity to video the garden and the progression. Um, today is June, June 6th, I think. So, I want to show you everything that I have planted um, and what I am planting right now because I've been procrastinating. I have family down from Florida. So, I've just been really procrastinating a lot um, on it every thing so um i just want to show you my garden and here it is so i got this sign it says bless my garden and it's right in the front of my garden so this is i know it's a mess but it is what it is i want to show you what i have done so far so let's go walk in so i don't know if you guys remember or if i even videoed i think i did when way way back maybe like a month or two ago I planted a tomato plant right next to my onions because it looked really sad and I didn't think it was going to survive. But <laughs> it is coming back. It is very much alive. And you see all this white fuzzy stuff? This is pollen from a tree. I have it all over my yard. Um, everybody thinks it's because of the chickens, but it's not. So these are my tomatoes. These are my tomato plants. They are coming along so well. I actually bought these clips. I got like 250 for like eight bucks on Amazon to um, keep them up. So I'm gonna get grab some more clips and clip them up as they they go. Some are clips, some are not. But as you can tell, these are all my paste tomatoes, you guys, and they're doing so well, so good. Then some are flowering. Where are they? These are the store-bought ones. Oh, see the flowers, you guys? Such a good sign. Look at all those flowers. Which ones are these? Oh, those are the chocolate sprinkles. These are starting to get little flowers. Um, this one I need to put up, so I'm going to be doing that today, too. Those also have flowers. Those are my Juliettes. That's another Juliette that's actually going sideways, so i got to prop that up as well. Um, then I have these over here, which are looking very good and strong. And if you guys remember the three tomato plants that I thought was dying, look at them. Look how they look now. This one just started coming back to life. These were my green zebras. And you guys, I'm so happy. They are look amazing. If you can tell inside, I put the chicken um, chicken compost pretty much what it is. It's just their poopy with their with the bedding. I waited till it got nice and brown and black and I cleaned out their their bed on um, their coop and I just put all their manure pretty much all within the tomato bed and with the peppers. These are all the peppers. I just planted them like a week ago um, because of the whole incident that happened with my peppers early on. So these are a variety of different peppers. I really didn't label them that well, you guys. I'm not going to even lie. So I really don't even know what I have in here. So I guess I know this right here is a, a jalapeno pepper. And that one right over there where the flowers are coming. See the flowers? That is a sweet Italian. I only know that. And that right there is a California. I'm um, a green California wonder. I only know because I bought those from the store. And I have the labels for them. And that one right there is one of my habanero peppers that I grew from seed that I know because I have it labeled. The rest, we'll find out when it comes. So I bought this from the store, but it doesn't look too good. This is a cauliflower because my cauliflower didn't look too healthy. I am getting a little bud, but I don't know if it's gonna really do anything. Um, and then I bought this from the store too. This is supposed to be a cantaloupe. But if you can see, you guys, it kind of is like dying. So we'll keep an eye on that. Then this right here is some green beans that I bought from the store. These are the bush blue lake beans. Then these are um, butternut squash that I grew from seed. I just planted them right into the ground. So those are coming up pretty good. Then this right here, I think, yep, that is the only spaghetti squash that actually came up that I planted from seed. And then these right here, back here, I got from the store. And these are, let me see, zucchinis. So these are zucchinis. I bought one spaghetti squash. Um, and then I'm not sure what those are back there. They're some kind of squash as well. Those right there that look like they're dying, again from the store, but they look like they're dying. Those are cucumbers. Um, then I planted some marigolds 
and get the bug the um not the bugs the bees in here i do next year i know i'm gonna have to plant way more flowers this right here is my blueberry bush i just gave it some more acid um a couple days ago so it does grow mushrooms in here but i'm just gonna leave it be i know i'm not gonna get anything from this for a couple years so but that's what it looks like so it's still green so we know it's still good then here i planted all from seed i use these containers right here when i try them out this year see how it goes a lot of people are questioning me on why i put it, did what i did but i'm trying something new these are black beauty zucchinis as well as from the ford hook zucchinis all in this one they're gonna come up they sprout up like those so they're not they don't actually come out like a vine so we want to see how that goes with that and then in here these will come out like a vine because these are all pumpkins in here this row right here is the new england sugar pie pumpkin this row right here is the connecticut field pumpkin and that row right there is the winter luxury pie pumpkin and this one doesn't look like it did too well. I only did three seeds of each kind. And I just want to try it out in this, in a container kind of thing. Because I figured if it comes out, they'll come out on the ground here. And I can manipulate it to do whatever I want. So that was the, the idea for that. So we will see how this turns out um, for next year. Then in here, nothing's really happening in here, you guys. But in here, I do have beans. I have navy beans in here. And I have, actually you can see a bean right there. Apparently it didn't get covered well. Um, I have other kind of beans. I don't, I don't really remember. See, that's a navy bean right there. That's obviously not covered. I'm gonna have to come and put some more dirt. I just planted them not too long ago. Um, that leaves me to my potatoes, you guys. Look at these beautiful flowers from the red potatoes. These are the red potatoes. They are thriving way better and flowering, which flowering on potatoes is such a great sign. That means there is actual pota potentially potatoes growing in, in there because they can get big like this, big and green, but not mean anything. But when you see those flowers, you guys, that means everything. So these are the rustic. They are a little delayed compared to my red potatoes but they do have flowers on them so it's very encouraging so i'm very excited for those i do have some dieback right here i don't know why um so i might come in and fertilize this and put some more soil because it looks like i could add a little bit more soil um but we will see what happens with that i mean these back here are flowering so that's that's good and there's some flowers here so we'll gonna keep a close eye on that because that's you know I'll have to do some research on that one and then over here we have those same containers and we have watermelon and there's flowers so and then there's some flowers back there growing coming but these are all watermelon plants up here and then my strawberry plants. I've gotten a couple strawberries, but there's a gopher we have in the yard that's been eating them up. So at least I don't expect really much of anything until next year. I'm going to put it in a different container next year. And then these are my peas. The only ones the gopher wasn't eating, and they are having flowers on them, which is a good sign. And then in here, I grew some of the um, purple hull pea beans and you can start seeing them coming up and I put some in there too nothing yet oh are those yeah so there's that and then the gopher I got see all the weeds in here too you guys awful but the gopher has been killing my onions in here so I don't know I'm not really gonna get anything out of here um, let's see. And same thing with my lettuce. The weeds are overtaking. I have calendula. Not calendula. This is, um, what is this? Um, trying to think, you guys. Chamomile. 
So I threw some chamomile seeds down here, and so those are kind of taking off. But the lettuce is in here. I'm going to have to pick out these weeds. Um, but then I'm like, should I pick out the weeds? Because the gopher don't really know. This is romaine lettuce right here. This is iceberg. Um, so, and then the gopher have been eating my, I don't know if you can see. This was cabbage. Supposed to be cabbage anyways, but the gopher's been eating it. I planted some lettuce here. The gopher's also been eating my sugar snap peas. As you can see, my regular Marvel peas. There are some flowers going on on this one. Um, but not on this one. But they look really sad and they should have been really taller, taller by now. But they've been just chewing down on them. Uh, and then in here, I don't know what it is because it's kind of a um, thing. But I know it's something. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when it grows. This is my celery. And then over here, I'm not sure. This was supposed to be my eggplant. So I'm not sure if these... Or eggplants or weeds so I'm not sure so I'm not picking anything pretty much for that and then my beautiful Brussels sprouts got eaten do you see eaten and then this was the um, what was that that went to flower um, oh the Japanese wasabi so I don't know I never grew it, so I guess I'll have to do some research. And this is kale, all in here. That's all kale. This is spinach that went to seed. So it looks like it bolted. And then in here is all the carrots. You can see all the carrots. And then I threw in some flowers, so they're coming up too. But... Oh, that's... That I gotta next year we gotta figure out this gopher situation because I'm really nervous when my tomatoes start coming up. But anyways, this right here, you guys, is a fig that came that I I finally was able to get. So I'm hoping that it still thrives. And I know I'll have to bring it in in the winter time. But I put it in this small plant in this pot. And I'll just keep a potting it because it's supposed to be a tree. I have a couple more over somewhere over there in that mess, but this is the one that looked the best, so I planted it by itself. So we'll see how that goes. And then this is seeds that I believe my sister gave me from New Hampshire, and I saved the seed. Yep, New Hampshire cucumbers, I labeled them. Um, her fruit got really big, so really too big, you can't eat the seeds, so I carved out the seeds and I saved the seeds and so I was trying to grow them. Hey okay, guys, so my phone died. Um, so I just wanted to show you, I did end up pinning up the tomato plants um, with those things. They worked very nicely. I did it on both sides. This one didn't need to be pinned up at all. It's pretty just much as a really strong stem. So it's just going straight up. Then these right here um, I did, if you see, I cut the ends that were touching the ground up with that one too. Um, and I did just pin them both up and then I connected them together. These are the Juliettes. And then all these tomatoes look good for right now. That one looks good as well, so I didn't do anything with that. Those New Hampshire cucumbers I was talking to you about before the camera cut shut off. Um, I did land up planting them in the potato beds right here. So that way, if they survive, they can... I'm going to put something over here to let them trellis up. And so I put three in each potato bed, and I filled more soil in each of these. Um, and then what I have over here, what I wanted to show you, you guys, is right here. It's really hot today, so they go limp. Is this is... So what I did, I thought this was one of my tomatillo plant, uh, things, but I guess not. Um, it looks really sad, but I, um, if you remember the video I did before when I planted these seeds, is I just, the seeds that never came up, I just took the, that dirt pretty much and I mixed it and I 
planted the n- another set of seeds. Well, one of the tomato seeds, so this is a mystery tomato plant right here, landed up growing in with a cucumber plant. So I am going to stick both of these right here next to my um, Cherokee purple. So this is the Cherokee purple that's actually doing really well. All right, so these I'm just picking because this is all weeds. I'm just going to pick so it makes some nice room here. All right. All right. Now I'm just going to really dig like a, a good deep hole for that stem to be sturdy. Oh, there's a rock right there or a vine or something. I'm just going to try and do the best I can. All right, I'm going to pull that right out. Let's see. All right, so that's as deep as I'm going to get it right there. And then I'm going to plant this um, tomato plant. So one second. All right, so this is the plant. I just took it out of the pot. Now, tomato plants are very forgiving. However, other plants are not. I'm going to try and break these free. Um, so I just gently pulled the tomato plant away from it. So this cu cucumber plant, I think I'm just going to plant right on the edge of this bed right here next to the marigold. But this plant right here, I'm hoping, comes back to life. But if you see all that fuzziness on the bottom, that should become all vines once it goes into the ground. I'm going to put as much of this into the ground as I can. So let's go do that. All right, so here we go. We're going to put this into the ground. So yeah, so most of that stem actually, if you see, is getting buried. So we're just going to fill it up with dirt. Let's see. Just going to pinch this off right here. So we will see what happens with this little guy. I will keep you guys up to date. Look at that little plant, it's so sad. But that's pretty much what the one that's over there in that corner that's thriving kind of look like this one. Um, so, but in the meantime, I'm going to plant this. I almost said watermelon. It's not the watermelon, it is a cucumber. Put, plant it right in here, have it going out that way. And then I'll probably, because it's been it's so hot today, I'm probably going to go, oh, I completely forgot about this plant. This plant's not really doing much of anything. See this tomato plant? This is one of um, the chocolate sprinkles. See how big these chocolate sprinkles are? And they even have flowers growing on them. This one <laughs> is so tiny. This one, I think, was one of the, um, I just took a little dead flower off there, but um, that was really tiny from one of the other plants. I peeled it off and I planted it. So, I'm not gonna be too sad because I got three. They're back, like three in the back. Right here are all chocolate sprinkles. So, and I don't know what these are. I think these were a cherry or a grape tomato that I took from my mom. But these are starting to have flowers too on them. So that's so exciting and encouraging. When you see flowers on your plants, oh, and I forgot to show you guys, look at that. That's the Cherokee purple. They, they got some flowers going on too. So I love to see the flowers blooming on my tomato plants and some of my pepper plants over there as well. So I'm very excited and I can't wait to see some flowers growing on my zucchinis. But you guys, I'm like super excited. I can't wait to see what I can get out of this garden this year. There is a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I know I want to change for next year. Um, and then I want to do differently. Like the first thing 
is I'm definitely going to plant a bunch of flowers very early on, probably like the end of January, early February. Um, and just strictly plant flowers like from seed. That way I can transplant them in early spring and have beautiful flowers um, without paying a crazy abundance of money for them because flowers are expensive, you guys. I was so shocked. We spent so much money on flowers this year. Um, it was quite sad because I had seeds that just are still trying to to come up. Um, like my calendula is, they're, they haven't done anything. They, they, they're green, they're coming up with, with flowers, um, with uh, greenery, but they're just, they're not budded yet. Um, and same thing with my uh, zinnias. They are getting big, but they are not really doing anything um, as of yet. So I definitely, definitely will grow my own flowers next year. Um, my plan is in this space over here. Let me so if you see this tree right here, that tree is gonna come down. I'm not a fan of it. It does blossom some really beautiful white flowers on it. But after they go away and they make a mess of my yard, they are just, a, it's just not attractive tree at all. It, is, it looks like there's like three trees blended into one, which I'm also not a fan of. So we are going to get rid of that tree. And right there in that spot that comes from over here to down over here, I'm going to build a small little greenhouse. And I'm going to try and do a greenhouse for next year if not next year hopefully the year before the year after but definitely gonna try for next year and so that's the first thing so all I have to worry about I won't have to worry about grow lights or anything like that all I have to worry about at that point if I have a greenhouse is heat I have to keep it the climate inside of that greenhouse at a certain temperature which is so easily done um, with a heater that is you know you, you can have that has a digital um, turn on and off for that temperature you know what I'm talking about I can't think of it right now climate control um, so that I, is my goal that is ultimately what I want to do nothing big you know I don't have a great big garden but I have a big enough garden that I would love to have a greenhouse as well as start the flowers so one side be flowers the other side be vegetables and I know that I definitely need to start my peppers way earlier than my tomatoes because they thrive way better than the tomatoes take forever. So I might actually start my tomato, my, pe my pepper plants at the same time I start my flowers um, and then start my tomatoes maybe like a month later or maybe even six weeks later. Uh, so that's you know, something else, a learning, a new learning curve as well. A lot of the other things I think I will do from seed, like the squashes, I think I don't need to worry about pre-seeding them. They, they seem to be doing just fine germinating in the ground directly and, and coming up. Um, my peas and my beans, I think I will, depending on what happens with them this year, I think I might seed them in the greenhouse as well. The other things I think I would not just put right in the ground like I did this year that I would definitely start from seed is my, um, what are they called? My broccoli, my cauliflower, uh, things, things like that. Uh, you know, I'm going to try again, celery next year again. Um, so those kinds of things, my Brussels sprouts, I'm definitely going to try and do those also from from seed in the greenhouse prior to them being planted out because they're just taking a very long time. Kale and spinach and lettuce and all that, I think I want to do a, like a raised high raised bed. Um, I have plenty of space in here to do it. <clears throat> so that way the bunnies or the gopher don't get to it um, because unfortunately I, I grew it and it was all eaten on me. Um, we are going to try to maybe try and make a better fencing around here for next year. But this year, it was just a huge learning curve, something we did not have to deal with at the other house. We are dealing with here. Um, and, you know, it's just different learning curves. And every year, I think we'll learn something new and we can share it with you guys on how, how and what worked for us and what didn't work for us. So, you know, that's why I love this channel so much. You know, even though it's still very small I still love to share it with people that want to know more and watch my journey as well 
look back, you know, in a year or so that what we're how far we've come. So, you know, I do love my, this channel and I hope it it does succeed. And if it doesn't, I think I'm still going to document our gardens over the next couple of years because it's so thrilling to watch this little itty bitty seed turn into something as beautiful as this tomato plant over here. Like it's just stunning. And I just realized you guys, if you can look really closely, there's flowers blooming on my paste tomatoes over there and over there. Like that is so exciting. But I did forget to show you another garden that I have that is not back here, it's in the front yard. So let me go and show you. Hey guys, so I don't know if you can see all that green right there, but going into the front of the house. Don't mind the balloons. We just had our house warming over the weekend. It was a blast. So, okay. So, if you can tell over here, all these are onions right here. We got Walla Walla. We got Ring Master. And I'm, my mind is drawing a blank of the other one. Then all these right here are all... Um, garlic that I had to plant this year I'm at the like this spring so they're not gonna be as big as next year because next year I'm going to this whole bed right here is probably gonna be all garlic next year um, I'm gonna plant it this fall so then right here if you guys can tell some are way bigger than others but back here all that those big those are all corn I have decorative corn growing in the very back row and then in front is yet yeah, sweet corn. And then I seeded some, which I did it 100% germinate because I did like rows like that. And not all of it germinated, but it, I do have it starting to come up here. So that's all sweet corn. And then over here, same thing. The back row over there was once I started indoors. And these are started from seed. And I actually just planted some more seed in this area of the same thing. And these are my mammoth sunflowers. They're going to get tall. They're going to get huge. And they're going to be delicious sunflower seeds. And I planted more because I know my chickens will love the sunflower seeds as well. So, and then in here, I had thrown, this is all, this is going to be, this is all nothing. I got to take all this shit out. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but when the weather gets better, we'll figure that out. Um... Not when the weather gets better. That's not what I meant. Like these right here, if you can, if you can see them. These are all wild garlic. Um, so they're starting to bulb up top. I'm too scared to eat them. So if anybody knows anything about wild onion garlic is what it's called, I believe, when I did the picture this app. Um, please let me know because I have an abundance of it. Look at it all up over here too. Like an abundance of it. So, but anyways, my jo Josh came and hacked some of this off, and I guess he changed his mind. I don't know what he did. But when I was planting over here, I had some tomato plants that looked dead, so I just kind of forgot about them and put them in a pot over here, and I forgot about them. I figured I'd come back and grab the pot later. But when I came out here a couple weeks later, they were thriving. So I ended up planting them up here. So I have a tomato plant in, in here, and I have one here. I have no idea what the variety is of them. But then I have my pansies here, and my marigold, French marigold, some more pansies, pansies. And then in these, you can see all green stuff coming up. These are my zellias and my daisies. I got African daisies and zellias, all different kinds. Um, I planted from seed, so we'll see if those come up. But, so this is the bed up in the front of the house. So, I can't wait till my sunflowers really start blossoming. I don't know why they, I think they get a little, a little sunburnt. Because you can see the yellow col discoloration. But you can actually see. See the stem? It's all fuzzy. Like a real, like it's nice and strong. I know I'm going to have to, oh this one looks really sad though. I know I am going to have to come and stake them probably as they get taller. But look at this corn. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? That is like absolutely beautiful. They're like nice and they're getting nice and strong. They're beautiful. I can't wait till you start seeing ears on them. 
that's just a weed that I gotta take out again. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how this goes up top, front. I think it gets most of the sun right here. So I know some flowers needed it and the corn needed it. So we'll see how this, how this section goes. Well, that is it for the tour of my garden today. So I just kind of wanted to show you what was going on and show you like still planting some stuff in there. But I want you guys to have a great day. I hope you guys like my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And until the next video.